just a quick Friday update. I went on a walk this morning. Wanted to give a quick shout out to Guy McPherson's latest science update. He's one of the few reporters in the Dumasphere that I keep up with and follow. And I laughed a few times. I like his snarky humor. Medium confidence. Medium confidence? Really? I can say with exceptionally high confidence that the world's on fire. And just overall presentation. I'd really like to smoke a bowl with him. If he's watching this, I'm really embarrassed. But yeah, I really want to toke with you. Like at least once. Not that it'd be like crazy or anything, but that would be cool. So I was watching Changing Lanes last night. Kind of a dated movie. I think it was like late 2000s. Things change quickly. Great acting, of course, from Samuel. And there's a scene where he's walking through the divorce court, or he's leaving the divorce court, and it's in New York City, so it's crowded, and and he sees just everybody's in working their own shit out and crying, and there's babies. You know, it's just a public place, and it's a, a law building. It's always been this way, you know, in Rome, and just... And Egypt is just where the common, you know, the common people meet. And, and everybody's just freaking out, you know, and having their own problems. And I thought, wow, that's a great... And he's sort of just like dazed because he just had a bad experience. But I said, wow, that pretty much sums up humanity and life. We're all just just working our own shit out. Just, for, you know, freaking out in a room, whatever. Just trying to figure it out. Great, great uh, visual imagery there. Uh, and then lastly, I wanted to just touch on ego real quick because I think it's a daily reminder that you are complete, you know, in, in at least in the Buddhism sense. I, I ascribe away from anything doing with like a god. It's like, which god? And if, if, if you're talking about Christianity and you're not, Michael Dowd does great coverage on this. He's another person I follow, like, if you're not doing it for the earth, if it's not for the earth, like what what are you doing it for? Some image, really a construct of your imagination. Anyways, I don't want to go into it, but the point is Buddhism more aligns with everything is it's not concerned with the deity. It just says that, you know, we're all the energy, everything's energy. We're all part of the same matter. I'm as equivalent as a cow in India to get all hippie with you, but like that's why they they respect, you know, animals, and and some of them they don't. But um, point is, ego, is it, it, dukkha, suffering, is a result of our craving, which comes from a large part, an ego, and dukkha, dukkha, suffering, you can, to escape that is breaking the cycle, so on and so forth. It gets really kind of bonkers after that but at this point we we know what's we know what's happening with the planet and people who dress luxuriously or drive expensive vehicles and live luxurious lifestyles it's like they're trying to prove something because it's the question is how secure are you how secure are you because if you're a secure person, I can speak for myself that I don't care how others view me or what I, how I dress because it's all inside. And it's just, it's just evident that we're grown up children. Some of us never grow up. And the ego that we cling to and the cause of our suffering is craving and that we're always reaching and grabbing new things and, and being and knowing of collapse puts all of this into perspective and reminds you of what's really important, which is you guys. Okay, quick Friday update. Thanks for listening to my ramble. Have a good weekend. What's happening in the world? Monday. See you then.